Turn on everything. Sure. What's going on guys? Kurt here and today I'm answering the single question I get asked the most often in the comment section. What is a capo and do I need one? So stay tuned because in the next few minutes I'm going to unravel all the mysteries of this mythical creature. So today we're talking about capos. Now I get asked about capos more than any single other thing in the comment section. They're a mystery to a lot of people and a lot of people really just don't know what they are or what they're about. So today I'm here to answer all your burning questions. I'm going to go through three things in this video. What is a capo? What's it used for? And most importantly, do you need one? And spoiler alert, my answer is a very, very strong yes. Stay tuned and I'll tell you why. So capo, really all it is is just a clamp. It's got a lower face and an upper face and then it's got a spring in the middle there. And this clamps down the guitar on a specific fret to change the sound of the guitar. If I play my open strings, they're going to sound like this. Now, if I take those same open strings, but I put my capo on the fourth fret, now they're going to sound like this. And all this does is raise the pitch of the open strings if you go higher, or lower it if you go lower. So what this ends up doing is if I have my capo on the fourth fret, and I grab my regular C chord shape, and then you play it compared to with no capo, I play that same C chord, it's a lot lower sounding. So by putting the capo on, you can actually raise or lower the sound of your chords to suit whatever you're trying to do with a specific song. So now that we know what they are, the next question is why would you use one? And there are two major reasons to use a capo. The first is to make it easier to sing, and the second is to make it easier to play on guitar. So say I'm having a particularly bad day, I'm feeling pretty emotional and sad, and I really just want to play some sad Taylor Swift song. Well, no matter how much I try, and no matter how much I cry, chances are I'm probably never going to be able to sing the notes that are as high as Taylor's going to sing. So what I can do instead of trying to strain up for those high notes that I'm never going to reach and they're going to sound awful if I do, I can bring the chords and the melody that goes along with those chords lower to a lower range that actually better suits my voice. So for example, say I'm trying to play a Taylor Swift song like Love Story, which typically is played with a capo on the 5th fret. And I don't know the chords exactly, but it's probably going to be something along the lines of C, G, D, A minor, or some variation similar to that. It's not really important. But if I were to try and sing that song, there's no way I'm going to be able to hit those notes. So if I take this 5th fret capo and move it down to the 1st fret, now suddenly playing those exact same chords, they're going to be a lot lower. As opposed to... The chords relative to each other are the same, but the actual notes played are much, much lower. So what that does is it actually makes the vocal melody equally as much lower. So where this might have been the high note before, now we're going to go down four frets. And so now this is the high note, which that's an F, which is actually much more reasonable for me to try and sing, and it's going to sound a lot better if I play this song at the first fret capo instead of the fifth fret. Or if I wanted to go even lower, take it off altogether, which is basically the equivalent of a zero fret capo. Now the reverse is also true if you've got a higher voice. If you're a girl and you're trying to play, say, Heaven by Kane Brown. This is perfect. Come kiss me one more time. You're going to have a lot of trouble trying to sing those notes if you even can. But by taking the capo wherever it is and moving it up four or five frets, then suddenly those same notes are going to be much higher and probably actually more reasonable for you to sing. So what moving the capo does is changes the key of the song. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail on that because that's a more advanced topic. Basically a key is a set of chords and notes that you play that specifies the range of the song. By moving the capo up or down, you move the key up or down. And as such, you move the actual melody of the song up or down. 
And this basically changes to better fit the vocal range of whoever's singing it. So the second main reason to use a capo is because they make playing in a specific key a lot easier. Now, if you're trying to play an Ed Sheeran song, one of Ed's favorite keys to play in is D major, because it suits his vocal range pretty well. But if we're trying to play this without a capo, the chords we're going to have are D major, E minor, F sharp minor, which is kind of ugly, G, A major, B minor, and then C sharp diminished. Now, those chords really aren't that pretty. But if we do the same thing and we instead take our capo and put it on the second fret, if you move that C up two frets, well now this is actually a D chord, but it's got the shape of a C chord. D major. So regardless of the technical details, what we're going to end up doing is playing the same chord shapes we're used to, the simple ones in open position, but we're actually playing them two frets up. So that actually changes what the chords are, even though the shapes are the same. So now the chords we're going to be playing are going to be a lot more familiar. We're going to have things like C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor. And the capo, switching the capo is what allows you to use those same basic chord shapes and have them actually be different notes. So now the final point that I've already kind of gone over is why you need one of these. It's going to make it way easier to learn songs because you don't have to try these weird chord shapes that are tough to do. You can just play the basic chords you already know. And then the second thing is that it's going to make it a lot easier to sing. Instead of trying to reach for those high notes that just hurt your throat, sound really bad to anyone who's listening, you can just sing in a range that's comfortable to you, that's comfortable to your natural voice, and it's going to make people think you sound a lot better. And no one's ever going to notice or care that you've changed the key of the song, because it just sounds natural to what your voice is. No one would expect me to hit the same notes that Taylor would hit. Same thing, no one would expect her to go as low as my voice is. It just wouldn't make sense and it'd sound kind of funny if it did. And then the final thing is that they're just really cheap. For 10 to 20 bucks, you can get a capo that's gonna last you for years, and you're gonna use it all the time. If you've seen my tutorials, you know that almost always there's a capo on some fret in the song I'm teaching you, and you're gonna be able to follow a lot more of my videos and play a lot more songs if you just grab a capo. I know it hurts to spend money on these little things like this, but trust me, this is one of those tools that's actually worth it. Now, if you're looking for a recommendation of which capo I think you should get, I do have a video where I tested out the top five best-selling capos on Amazon, and I've given my reviews and recommendations of all of them. If you're interested in that, you can check out the description below where I've linked that video, and I give my recommendation on which capo you should get. That's all I've got for this video. If you learned anything at all in this video, please spike that like button. It really does make a difference for me. Take a gander at this replay. The angle at which Sterling deflects. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to learn guitar as fast as humanly possible. While you're at it, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of this video, or if you have any video or song suggestions. The comment section is where I get most of my video topics from. Or if you want to, just say hi. Or maybe reply to someone else's comment. We're a community of people who all love guitar, so who knows, maybe we could make some friends here. Until next time, keep on rocking in the free world. And I'll see you later. Quick tip, if you want to rapidly cool your drinks, put them in the freezer right by those back fans there, and it'll cool it ice cold in about 5 to 10 minutes tops.